The SIG P320 is an incredibly popular pistol. However, it does have one issue that I've noticed. On this pistol, when we dry fire the gun, you'll notice the slide actually moves up and down, and that's tied to the uh, FCU interacting with the slide. Right now, we have an empty gun with an unloaded magazine. I'm gonna reinsert our unloaded magazine, drop the slide, and if you watch here, as I depress the trigger, you'll see the slide's tipping up and down. You can see that it's closing the gap here. And that's how the FCU and the slide work together. In another magazine, I have snap caps loaded. When I insert those, those rounds are now pressing against the bottom of the slide. So when we dry fire, you'll notice there's no bounce. So that alleviates one of the issues we've got with dry fire that you may have noticed with your SIG P320. However, that creates another issue. I'm gonna chamber the gun here, of course, with a snap cap. We're gonna reinsert our empty magazine. And here, we have bounce again. So while that might alleviate the dry fire issue, when you are live firing this gun, when the last round is chambered out of the magazine, you're gonna be having this happening to the pistol. So I want you to keep that in mind if you are a SIG 320 shooter or owner, that this gun's got this weird quirk. I've noticed this on the M17 like I've got here, on an M18, which is the same gun, just shorter, and on various 320 non-manual safety models, whether they were X5s or they were the AXG aluminum frame guns. So just a little tip here for dry firing the SIG, but also a thing to keep in mind when you shoot these guns. Check out more SIG content down below.